Hey folks, this is IOE and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Deadly Smurf. He's in his Cromwell. It's ooh, second mark. This is a tier eight game on um, Serene Coast. This is j the Plano Cromwell. Now even a Cromwell B. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, um, so yeah. Uh, before we get into this game. I'm filming this the day after Thanksgiving, but I'm sorry, I'm filming this on Thanksgiving, so I hope you've all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, and I'm gonna try and stream some Seven Days to Die um, on, well, tonight when you're all watching this, and hopefully on Saturday night as well. I don't know if they're gonna end up happening, but I w really want to. The new update for Seven Days to Die, basically, it's a whole new game, has just come out. Um, it, it's the first. Major update on Seven Days to Die in like a year and a half. So if you're into Seven Days to Die at all, then come out and join us. Um, I'm not 100% certain what, what times I'm going to be streaming from, but somewhere around the 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern, somewhere in there. And uh, I'll stream as long as I can, but I do have to work at 6 a.m. <laughs> on, <laughs> on Saturday and Sunday morning, so stream won't go that late. Anyways, um, yeah. So we'll get back to Deadly as he, ooh, SB1C seems to be a little bit overextended. Uh, it's, it's, it's dead. That is a smooth way to kill an SB1C. <laughs> the, the only damage he took was from the ramp. No, he did take 600 damage from the ram. So that's a little bit much. However, I mean, it killed an entire SP1C, which is a tier 7 scout tank, without it, it. Well, it did do one damage, I guess. No, wait, it did a shot of damage, and you did 600 damage on a ram? Oh, I need to ram in the Chromium more often. <sighs> I got my numbers mixed up. Enemy OI drowned. How? Where? How? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, now that we're back into the game, we know what's going on. He is sneaking up behind a Mod 1. And if our T-34-3 wasn't in the way constantly... Ooh, never mind, that is a dead Mod 1. As he picks up his second kill on a higher tier vehicle. So that alone... I'm pretty sure that earns him an award right there. So, already, this is a good game. Uh, he's got his fire for effect already, which is... My goal every game is to get a fire for effect, by the way, if you don't know that. Um, and I'm, I recommend it ma you make it your goal, too. Because if you can get a fire for effect every game, that's doing your health and damage, then you're at least carrying your weight for the team. And it'll make you a better player in the long run as long as you have a goal and you're always working towards it. And Fire for Effect is one of those ones you always know if you meet or not. Ooh, as the shot sails just go on that T-34-85. He's looking over the Hellcat and the J Panther. I don't... I don't think he's going to be able to get over there and get to them, though. Uh, not unless they look the wrong way all of a sudden. Is so if you just jump in on that, then they're, the J Panther's going to shred you in the... <laughs> the Hellcat's gonna finish you off. And ooh, look artillery. Can he shoot artillery? Yes, yes he can. Can he kill artillery? No. <laughs> Unfortunately he would have had to manually aim that and he just he didn't. Uh, and well that's a dead J Panther. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. At this point in time it's just a rush to kill all the last remaining enemy tanks. I like the fact that he hid behind the T-34-3, and now that the ISU has fired, he can go in. Um, I'm guessing he didn't realize the ISU fired, and because um, I would have been much more aggressive with that approach. Knowing the ISU had fired meant you could just charge straight in, you get behind it, and then you're not in any danger. Um, but he's not charging in. Um, that's a little bit saddening. Because when, when when a big gun like that fires, you want to go aggressive. Especially if it's on a tank destroyer that can't move. And is fairly, you know, if it's on something fairly mobile that doesn't have a turret on it, you do just want to go in. Hellcat 
Well, half cow's not going to be coming that way for long. Is it going to kill the teeth? Nice kill from the Hellcat. Unfortunately for the Hellcat. Hi. Unfortunately for us, we got shot by something. Challenger. There's a Challenger ho sitting over there in the corner. And we have 28 health left. Well, the last thing we want to do is go around this corner. Well, what do you think Deadly is going to do? <laughs> do you think he's going to go around this corner? <laughs> Ooh, nice use of the trees. We only get spot at the last minute. Challenger isn't even looking at to Focus on the E25. Is that what he was focused on? Was he seriously missing an E25? Maybe. I guess it's possible he just killed something, but I don't think so. I think he was focused on the E25 and was missing it. Okay, well, that's one way to end the game. Let's jump over and see what his results were. That is awesome. That is a Master Badge First Class Fighter Fire for Effect and Duelist. He does get three bonds for that and a Tier 6 tank. That's pretty worth it. And he gets the Oskins medal, which is rare enough. That's three enemy tanks you kill that are at least one tier higher than you. And that was, of course, these three down here. It was well done. Um, the fact that he did so much to that poor SP1C with that one ram was awesome. And then just the cleanup kills on the rest. It's well done. 2,000 damage. Second most in the game, by the way. Just barely being a, a tier 8 tank. And barely behind another tier 8 tank. Who died? To a Hellcat. Ah, <laughs> uh, fun, 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 fun. Uh, two shells were missed? I remember... Oh, the, the one on the T-34A5M and, of course, the one on the artillery. Yeah, that's right. That was a great game. Nice and short. And it leaves us room for a bonus clip. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> we'll have some more Tier 6 fun in the bonus clip. And we'll see you then.